you've created a culture here for which you've been publicly recognized repeatedly, deservedly so. We discovered a story when we were preparing for this that we really think illustrates the sincerity and impact of that culture. The story of in the company's 25th year of operation, your employees contributing their own money to restore your vintage Corvette. What elements of the company culture do you think really create that kind of very special working environment? Well, there's, there are probably a lot of answers to that. Uh, I think one can be just the, the, the size of the company at the time. I mean, it isn't so big that most people don't know you pretty well. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's big enough that they can husband their resources and pull off something that, that did cost quite a bit of money. Yeah. So perhaps the size of the company, but we, we go out of our way to try to be sure that everyone, whether they're in a branch 2,000 miles away or here in the same building where I am, uh, are kept up to date on what's going on in Scott Trade. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and we try to keep it light. We want people to have fun. We want them to enjoy their job. If they don't enjoy their job, I really would prefer they go somewhere else and work. It's not worth it mm -hmm. to, to work for a paycheck. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have that kind of a fun atmosphere sometimes that uh, makes us all friends as well as uh, co-workers. And I think that's a very positive culture if one can get there and, and then keep it as they grow. It's a real treasure. And I'm sure that car, every time you look at it, is a nice reminder of how what you've done has really permeated into the It's in the, the garage lives. today. I yes. bet it is. <laughs> I bet it is.